guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new here. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 11, I know that doesn't sound very good because I should have gone for top 10 but I just had to get that extra one in there, my top 11 nursery hacks for organisation and these work especially well if you've got a small nursery and you're struggling um, with ways to organise it and also some of these things that I'm sharing with you are my top recommendations for things to um, include in your nursery that I found so so useful and literally could not live without. So let's get into the video and I will show you guys what my favourite nursery hacks have been so far. <laughs> So my first piece of advice would be to get some sort of lamp or nightlight for the nursery. So you can get plug-in nightlights as well, but we went for this gorgeous ceramic star lamp. I can link it down below for you guys, um, but we just have it in the nursery next to the feeding chair. And when he was newborn especially, it was perfect for all of those night feeds and we wouldn't have been without it. So that leads me to my next thing, a feeding chair in my opinion is an essential for the nursery and it's something that I decided to get about halfway through my pregnancy, it wasn't originally on my list but honestly we would not have been without this chair, it's from Tutti Bambini and it rocks as well, it also came with a footstool and it is the comfiest chair I have ever sat in. So then I'd also recommend getting a little basket or something similar just to pop all of your muslins in. We keep ours next to the feeding chair. This was a little pom-pom basket from HomeSense and all of my muslins are in here and then they're just so handy to grab if I need them and honestly you will not be able to be without muslins especially in the early days. My next tip is to, if you've got a chest of drawers in your nursery, to get drawer dividers. So all of his vests sit in these drawer dividers from Ikea and they are all in age order. So they're all rolled up and all tidy. So I know exactly which one to go in to get the right vest for his current age range that he's wearing and also for his other clothes as well. So honestly, this is such a good way of organizing your drawers and I would highly recommend getting these dividers. So the next thing I would recommend getting is a cot with a drawer storage underneath. I do not know how we would have managed in this small nursery without this drawer storage under the cot. We have storage under all of our beds in the house so it made sense to get it under the cot as well. So in this side we keep all of our nappies, wipes, spare nappy creams etc. And in the other side we keep his projector, his nasal aspirator and just spare comforters and things like that really. It's honestly so handy for storing all of your nappies and I would highly recommend. So my next top tip is definitely to get a nappy caddy. So this was a Mrs Hinch tip and it is absolutely blown up over the past year or so. It is so handy and we keep it next to his top, top top changer so that when we're getting him dressed in the morning or changing his nappy, it's just handy to grab everything. So in this section we have his talc and his moisturiser and then we also have all of his nappy creams and we also keep his special cream for his um, eczema plus his coconut oil for his hair if he ever gets such dry scalp and then in the next section we keep wipes and nappy sacks and then in the back section we keep all of his nappies we are currently using the Audi premium nappies which we absolutely love and then in the front section I keep his nail scissors and his hairbrush and his comb and then also I have things like nail clippers and spare dummy clips in here so everything is in the nappy caddy when we um, need it so we can just grab it and it's really handy we know where everything is we also have one of these downstairs in the lounge so we don't have to keep running up and down the stairs to change him during the day So my next tip would be to definitely get a cot top changer if you have a small nursery, especially. So this was a universal one. This didn't actually come with our cot. I got this off Facebook Marketplace for £15, but it just lifts off really easily. So if baby's taking a nap, you can just pop it down on the floor. And then we added this luxury changing mattress from Mamas and Papas um, to make it really comfy for him. It comes with this pillow and this middle section just lifts off. So if you need to pop it in the wash because it's got sick or poop on it, then it's really, really handy for that. Um, but this saves so much space, especially in a small nursery. So I would highly recommend. 
So we also have Joel's wardrobe organized in this way, just so it's really easy to find everything. So along the top shelf, I bought these little boss boxes in Dunelm and labeled them myself. So we've got socks, shoes, hats, and bibs and then all of his clothes in the middle and then down the bottom we have blankets but also spare cot sheets and towels in this section and then accessories in the next section which is basically spare hangers, um, books that don't fit in his story box and his memory book and just things like that really but yeah it just it's so handy to have such an organized wardrobe and then you just know where everything is and you can quickly grab it when you're changing baby. And then while we're on the subject of organizing the wardrobe, I'd highly recommend getting these wardrobe providers. So I got these ones on Amazon. I will tag them down below for you. They're all slightly different designs, but they go with our gray and white nursery theme. So it just separates each age range of clothes. And I honestly would not have been without these. I mean, it's just so easy to grab everything, having these dividers in the wardrobe. And they also go up to two years old. And then my next tip would be to get some sort of um, toy basket for the nursery. So we actually, to save money, we go for just a normal laundry basket. This was five pounds in Primark, and I think it looks so nice. You can buy these personalized from my first years as well, but you will pay so much more money for them. And I just think for a handy basket with handles on that you can carry around the house when you need it, just to store toys in, for five pounds from Primark, this was so handy, and it just keeps his toys in a nice little section of his nursery. And then my last nursery hack would be to get some of these zip up closed storage containers. So I actually got these on eBay. It was $6.99 for, I think it was three or four of them. And then babies grow out of clothes so quickly. So we always have one of these on the go and we can just chuck his outfits in here as and when he grows out of them. And then once it's full, we can just label it with that um, age range of clothing and pop it up in the loft ready for hopefully the next baby that comes along. So I hope my favourite nursery hacks have been helpful for you if you're pregnant at the moment or even if you have a new baby and you're just struggling with ways to organise your nursery. These are the things that I have found most helpful in the six months that we've had Joel so far. Um, so I hope this has been helpful for you guys. If you've liked this video, please do hit the subscribe button down below and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.